Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be my July Shop My Stash slash Makeup Capsule. What I've been doing this year is every month curating myself a smaller makeup collection to work from as a way to rotate through my makeup collection. So I'm going to pick out a few items for the Shop My Stash portion and then all the other items are things in Project Pan. So check out my Project Pan videos if you have not seen those and all my other Shop My Stash makeup capsule videos are in my Shop My Stash playlist and yeah oh last month i'm filming this super late by the way but last month one of you guys said oh you should show us the whole capsule at the end with everything you're using for the month so i am going to do that i do have a couple things i'm going to actually recap from last month and then i'm going to show you picking out some new products so let's get started as far as the recap portion, the lipstick that I had, I did post a lipstick declutter this last month and I ended up decluttering that lipstick. I liked it, but yeah, I just had too many lipsticks, so I'm really happy that I was able to do that declutter. The highlighter is this one from JD Glow that I used in the color Saxon Fifth, and it is a beautiful gold, as you can see. This is such a stunning highlighter. I did wear this in a couple videos. This is a really, really pretty highlighter. The blush that I had is this one. I wore this from Wander Beauty, this duo I got in BoxyCharm last year when I used to have BoxyCharm. And this blush Bellini is such a pretty pinky peach. This formula is amazing. It's kind of like satiny. This contour shade, I can get this to show up. I have to like really build it up. This doesn't wow me as much, but I absolutely love this blush and I'm really happy I used it. The palette I had was the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival and I wore this in several videos. I still love this palette. This is one of the older palettes in my collection. I bought this when it came out the be at the beginning of 2018 and it is still so good. This formula is still fantastic. BH definitely is getting more traction now. But I think this palette is absolutely fantastic and I really like the looks that I did with it. So yeah, one of the older palettes in my collection, but I absolutely still love it. So I'm really happy I used I'm it. So happy with how my lipstick collection looks now after the declutter. I'm really, really happy about this. So let's see. I think I do want to pick a lip product. I'm very focused on panning lip products but I would like to pick something. Um, hmm. So I have these two lipsticks from Shop Miss A, which I really, really like. The color Bliss and Shore. These are really, really nice. Um, so that is an option. Uh, hmm. Let's see, yeah, the Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. I actually wear this a decent amount. It's just like a peachy nude. Um, I do like that. Oh, you know what? Okay, this Becca lipstick, this is in the shade Orchid. This is a really pretty like dark mauve type shade. I don't think I've used this in a while, so I'm gonna pick this. I'm not gonna pick a gloss, you know, if I have, there's a lot of days where I kind of pick out different glosses and stuff that I wanna use, so I'm not gonna pick any out for the Shop My Stash portion. Okay, here we have blushes and bronzers and face powders are back there. I am working on a bronzer, two bronzers actually in Project Pants, so I'm not gonna pick that. I wanna pick a blush though. Um, so last month I had said I had not used my Hourglass blush in a while, so that is a maybe. Um, this, I feel like this Cover FX blush, this may have been in my Shop My Stash at some point this year. I don't really remember though, but I really do like that one. Um, let's see. Oh, here's one from Becca that I cannot even remember when I used it last. I have not used it that much. This is in the shade Tiger Lily. Really pretty orange though. I feel like this is a really good color for summer. It's a really intense blush though. It's super pigmented, so I have to be very, very careful with that. Um, let's see, I'm trying to remember, when did I last use this? The Kylie blush in We're Going Shopping. I actually really like this. It's a really pretty peach. So that one is very nice, but actually, I think I'm gonna go with the Hourglass just because I bought this last fall 
and I just, I haven't used it that much, which is really sad. Oh, I didn't even say the color. This is in Brilliant Nude. It's very kind of like simple, but warm neutral. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. Okay, highlighters. Here's a couple I am considering. The Morphe highlighter. I feel like this was in my Shop My Stash earlier this year. And I actually really, really like this one. I think it's really nice. This is in the shade Extra. Um, I like that one. The Pixie one, I feel like this also was in my Shaw My Stash, but I don't think I got to use it that much. This actually, now that I'm thinking about this Too Faced highlighter in Fancy Pink Diamond, I got this in Boxy Charm last year. And you know what? I don't think I've used this for a while, and I really do love this highlighter. It is a pink kind of duochrome highlighter. So I think I'm gonna go with the Too Faced. All right, last up, eyeshadow palettes. So this I want to include. This is my newest eyeshadow palette. This is the Radiant Reflection Light, Sydney Grace and Temptalia collab. I've only used it once so far. It's beautiful. So I really want to do some more fun looks with this palette. I really enjoyed the one time that I used it and I swatched the other shadows and it seems really nice. So I definitely want to include this one. Here are some other palettes I'm considering. So the Charlotte Tilbury, this is, what is this one called? Um, okay, Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. This was in my Shop My Stash at the beginning of the year because I did buy this at the end of last year. I actually really like this palette, but I have not used it since then. So that is an option. Another one, gosh, yeah. Haven't used this in a while. The Dose of Colors Friendcation palette. This one is really, really beautiful, so this may be a good option also. Another one, wow, okay, this drawer is like full of neglected eyeshadow palettes apparently. The ColourPop Hocus Pocus. I bought this last year. I used it a few times last year. I mean, I probably used this like 10 times, but Mm, it didn't really wow me to be honest, so I kind of want to give it another shot. I mean, I like it. It's good. It's just it wasn't super amazing to me. Um, that is an option. Oh, here's one that I've been thinking about that I haven't used in quite a while. The Urban Decay Naked Honey. I really, really like this one. I think these colors are so beautiful. I've been really thinking about this palette lately. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one and then the Sydney Grace Temptalia one. So yeah, I think, also this is more neutral, so I feel like I could use this more like on an everyday basis, whereas the Sydney Grace palette is super colorful. So I definitely, personally I don't wear super bright colors on an everyday basis, even though I absolutely love colorful eyeshadows, but this is just more everyday friendly. Yeah, like I said, one of you guys suggested I do kind of an overview. So here is that. So yeah, Urban Decay, the Temptalia, the Hourglass Blush. So some of these things are in Project Pans, like that bronzer is in the Graveyard Project Pan. This is in Project 10 Uses, so is this. And then these are the palettes from my Using My Eyeshadow Palettes Project Pan. And I usually, so the things that I'm kind of trying to use for the month, I do either I put the palettes in this little like envelope holder here and then I set things either right here on my vanity or I have another drawer and I will show you that as well. And this is also like my everyday makeup drawer where I have other things that I'm using. Just everyday stuff like my brow pomade and then these are things that are in other project pans like in my Finish 10 in 2021. This is the ColourPop highlighter that's in the Partners in Cream project pan. This blush, this is new, so I do want to use this. I bought that from Tower 28. And then all of these things here are in Project Pans concealers, foundation, and primers. So yeah, I thought it, I liked this idea of kind of showing the overview. So yeah, let us know. If you do want to see my other Shop My Stash slash Makeup Capsule videos, like I said, check out my Shop My Stash playlist. And also if you want to see updates on the Project Pan items, check out the Project Pan playlist. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.